that question around yields, I think, is um, is also interesting. And, and that's again, that's like a cultural shift in trying to understand that maybe I mean, farmers have been programmed for the past 40 years to think that good farming equals high yields. But mm. what we've realized is that high yields and extractive methods of farming actually decimate your soil, your natural capital, and therefore mean that you can't continue doing it um, mm. forever. Um, and so it's it's that mindset shift to get away from just quantity and thinking about quality as well, I think, which is hard for farmers, obviously. <laughs> It is, but we're at this, correct me if I'm wrong, we're at this point now where um, I, I think it's broadly accepted and do interject if I'm wrong here that, you know, yields as we speak are lower. And I think I read something that it's on average, is, it could be around 27% lower, but there's going to be this point where as climate change and everything happens, the yields of conventional farming would go down anyway oh, absolutely so yeah. we're at this kind of point where we know where the underlying issues are so you've one's got to make the leap and it's and it's that i don't know it's that short-termism isn't it it's that short-termism well i've got to get the yield because i've got to create some sort of profit to pay for all the machinery i've got it's that really weird um uh horizon at the moment where, where yeah we're at. absolutely and it's just as you say it's what's been deemed conventional and it's challenging that and i mean a lot i would say that like people often think that farmers don't want to change but actually i think farmers are some of the most um resilient and agile people because they're always having to respond to weather changes market changes so, and, I, and i'd say over the past two years i you know farmers really have taken this concept of regen ag and and run with it and there are some like as you alluded to some incredible examples of real pioneering farmers in this space um but i think and so and i think we definitely are we're at that kind of turning point where we know that if, if you don't start to adopt this in many situations um you you won't you won't be able to farm in the future so it's mm. like well business won't happen as usual if you don't start to account for investing in the environment and things so yeah it's exciting